Here's our new goats. <clears throat> These are Kiko Spanish goats. They're still scared of me. Stranger danger. Matt. Matt. Meh. <clears throat> Might get a better picture if the sun's in the, in my background. Here's the babies. Everybody loves babies. She's a good looking goat. Hello, baby. Hello, little baby. Meh. Meh. That one's got a black eye. This one looks like little patches. <clears throat> Fortunately and unfortunately, three out of four of these babies are males. You generally want females, obviously. But <clears throat> I'm trying to cross these with the Nigerians. <clears throat> basically <clears throat> so what I'll probably end up doing is potentially anyways if I don't if I can't sell the Nigerians and we don't eat them <clears throat> then look the cats are eating the goat food dumb cats I just fed you guys oh no I was about to feed you guys come on meh <clears throat> So even though people say that there's not enough meat in cat food, they will still eat grain. Mostly probably because it tastes good. <clears throat> That's Mimi, the black one. <clears throat> there we go. They're in the shade now. Maybe I can get some better pictures. So now I'll go feed the cats and then I'll let the chickens out. And then, by then, I'll probably have my dispatch. If not, I'll get some work done around here. I'm going to go back on the road today. But <clears throat> ideally, I'm going in the meat goat direction. Um, <clears throat> the Nigerians are almost worthless. They're good meat, milk goats, sort of. But then so are Kikos, or they can be if you, you know, if we breed these guys in with the Kikos, they could be probably milk goats and meat goats. <clears throat> but, um, <clears throat> I got them in the two yards next to each other so that they can, uh, get used to each other without being in the same yard together. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, eventually, <clears throat> what I might do is put these males with those females and those males with these females. <clears throat> Once they're winged, you know, once these males are winged. And then what I'll end up doing is selling the ones who don't have horns. Because we want them to have horns. Um, <clears throat> I think these two are the male and female, and they have the babies, and they have, um, 
a little bit of borgoat in them. That's why they look a little bigger than the other ones. I think they were born about the same time. <clears throat> so what they say is, I'm still learning, but what they say is you want to uh, breed <clears throat> um, <clears throat> the Kiko with the Spanish goat. And when you have your Kiko Spanish goat mix, then you breed in a boar, a male boar. <clears throat> And uh, that'll give them their bulk. So maybe eventually, when I have more land, <clears throat> I can uh, basically have <clears throat> a Spanish goat male with uh, some Kiko females. <clears throat> And then take the offspring, the female offspring, <clears throat> when they're ready to breed, and put them in with the boar on a different property. <clears throat> and then have those offspring uh, go to the market, if you will. Now, I'm not sure how... <clears throat> accurate this is but this guy seems to know what he's doing better than my so-called goat expert on the land who let my goats die and his for that matter <coughs> um <coughs> he said basically you can breed the father um with its child, so say, um, you know, they have babies, and so then you could breed them with their father, <clears throat> uh, but you can't gr breed the grandbabies with the father. <clears throat> so, what I might do is maybe give them, you know, color code their uh, collars, because like Cleopatra, she has a blue collar around her neck. <clears throat> Maybe I'll get them different colored collars so I know which ones are the parents, um, the children, you know, the parents and the children. And in that way, <clears throat> I can make sure that the uh, grandchildren don't get bred. And then I can put the grandchildren with the boar. And then... <clears throat> um do the same thing there and then instead and so keep the parents and the and the children with the boar and then basically sell the uh, grandchildren who knows uh i'm still learning i'm not a goat guy but i'm figuring it out <clears throat> i ended up having to take over the goats uh, about two years ago <clears throat> Because our so-called goat expert ended up not knowing as much as he claimed or not following through with what he said he was going to do. And he wouldn't give them the medication. <clears throat> so they either died from inbre inbreeding or they died from parasites or both. <clears throat> and... Um, like I said, I don't know. I'm not a goat expert. <clears throat> but uh, originally he was saying that they died from a neurological disorder. Uh, then he changed it to uh, being inbred. But he refused to give them the, the, uh, the, the parasite medication. And they had parasites. And I went out and bought the purple stuff, and he refused to give it to him because he said, well, we can't call ourselves organic if we're giving them this pharmaceutical. So that's why I took the organic out of the name. I was like, fine, <clears throat> if you're going to kill all the goats because we're not 100% organic, then I guess we're not going to be 100% organic because it's just impossible, I think, to be 100% organic. <clears throat> and I'd rather my goats not die 
I'd rather be less organic and have my goats alive. <laughs> that cost me two grand. So, I don't know. This whole project's cost me a lot of money. And, like I said, I'm about to give up. <clears throat> but, um, I got a potential new business partner, maybe. Um, coming next week. You know, I'll test him out first. I'm not going to just make him a business partner nonchalantly, but he seems to have the credibility and he also seems to be more action oriented. So, and he also seems to care about aesthetics, you know. <clears throat> I don't like this place looking all trashy like it does. I want things to be organized and neat and it seems like I'm the only one who cares about that around here. Uh, there's only two of us left. There was like almost a dozen of us. <clears throat> but, you know, I'm still trying to clean up after those dozen people. And uh, <clears throat> it's hard to do when you're the only person doing it. And you only have two days a week to do it. So, eventually I'll get this place cleaned up again. And uh, with his help, maybe it'll be even quicker. And he's a grower. So uh, I think he'll be better than our last grower. <clears throat> um, our last grower was okay, but it wasn't really that great. He keeps talking about coming back, but I don't think I want him back. <laughs> so this new guy <clears throat> uh, seems to be a good grower and has contractor skills. <laughs> landscaping skills, management skills, you know. So, <clears throat> why he's not doing his own thing on his own property, I don't know. But <laughs> I got that 10% in that other property. And if he's as productive and proactive as <clears throat> he says he is, then, you know, maybe he can buy in over there and we could be business partners. <laughs> But uh, that's the only way I'm going to be a business partner is if people are productive, proactive, and they also buy in. And, you know, <clears throat> so. <laughs> but anyhow, <clears throat> yeah, like I said, I'm working on cleaning this up. This used to be our utility section, but uh, it's covered in weeds. There's still some good stuff in here, salvageable. I go through it every once in a while and um, <clears throat> either burn what is no longer good that needs to be burned or um, take it to the scrap metal section which a lot of this can go to the scrap metal section even though it's still usable because we do have usable stuff over there yeah all these lawnmowers <coughs> are lawnmowers that i had running and david basically just um i don't know what happened to him he broke them and then put them out the pasture so they've just been sitting here, and I got tired of paying money to fix them. <clears throat> and so now they're just, I guess they're just spare parts lawnmowers, because I don't know if they're any good. But <clears throat> <clears throat> he takes care of his lawnmower, but he didn't take care of mine. And then he, you know, he breaks mine, and then he expects me to fix it. <clears throat> and I don't know. So I come to the conclusion... Uh, Everybody's got to buy their own crap, you know, their own tools. And uh, that way, if it breaks, it's on them. <clears throat> you know? Because uh, people don't seem to want to be responsible for other people's stuff. So that's my new rule. If anybody comes to this property again, um, you own your own tools. Uh, I'll have some cheaper tools. But... Uh, if you don't maintain them, <clears throat> then you don't use them. But my more expensive tools, nobody gets to use. And uh, <clears throat> basically, yeah, you gotta you gotta buy your own tools and be responsible for your own tools. And like I said, I'll have some others. I'll have some <laughs> for community use, but you know, <clears throat> it'll just be my extras. Anyway. I guess that's it. I'm going to feed the cats, let the chickens out, 
and uh, this is the cat house by the way uh it's not much but i paid 200 bucks for it so it's pretty good for that <clears throat> so anyways so yeah i cleaned the place up and uh, <clears throat> uh, if this new guy and the new whatever this is like my last ditch effort to uh keep this sustainable community thing going but if it doesn't work this time i'm done i'm just gonna raise goats and that's it uh cats and goats maybe some chickens just to keep the bugs down <laughs> and that's primarily what the chickens are for anyways just to keep the bugs down so um and they do a pretty good job of it but um cats keep the mice down so yeah basically i'm just gonna be a goat farmer and um and that's it my neighbor wants to buy me out but i can't find anything worth buying so <clears throat> i'm just gonna stay here until i can either afford to buy something bigger for the goats <laughs> and then sell this or keep both of them you know but uh i don't know we'll see meow 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 kitty 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 okay bye